Magnetochemistry is concerned with the magnetic properties of chemical compounds. Magnetic properties arise from the spin and orbital angular momentum of the electrons contained in a compound. Compounds are diamagnetic when they contain no unpaired electrons. Molecular compounds that contain one or more unpaired electrons are paramagnetic. The magnitude of the paramagnetism is expressed as an effective magnetic moment, μf. For first row transition metals the magnitude of μf is, to a first approximation, a simple function of the number of unpaired electrons, the spin-only formula. In general, spin-orbit coupling causes μf to deviate from the spin-only formula. For the heavier transition metals, lanthanides and actinides, spin-orbit coupling cannot be ignored. Exchange interaction can occur in clusters and infinite lattices, resulting in ferromagnetism, antiferromagnetism or ferromagnetism depending on the relative orientations of the individual spins. <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic susceptibility The primary measurement in magnetochemistry is magnetic susceptibility. This measures the strength of interaction on placing the substance in a magnetic field. The volume magnetic susceptibility, represented by the symbol chi v, v is defined by the relationship m equals chi v h Display style VEC M equals G underscore V VEC H where M display style VEC M is the magnetization of the material the magnetic dipole moment per unit volume, measured in amperes per meter SI units, and H display style VEC H is the magnetic field strength, also measured in amperes per meter. Susceptibility is a dimensionless quantity. For chemical applications the molar magnetic susceptibility chi mole is the preferred quantity. It is measured in m3 mol-1 si or cm3 mol-1 cgs and is defined as chi mole equals m chi v rho display style chi underscore text mole equals m chi underscore v rho where rho is the density in kilogram m minus three SI or GCM minus three CGS and m is molar mass in kilogram mole minus one SI or G mole minus one CGS. A variety of methods are available for the measurement of magnetic susceptibility. With the GOI balance, the weight change of the sample is measured with an analytical balance when the sample is placed in a homogeneous magnetic field. The measurements are calibrated against a known standard, such as mercury cobalt thiocyanate, HgCO NCS 4. Calibration removes the need to know the density of the sample. Variable temperature measurements can be made by placing the sample in a cryostat between the pole pieces of the magnet. The Evans balance, is a torsion balance which uses a sample in a fixed position and a variable secondary magnet to bring the magnets back to their initial position. It, too, is calibrated against HgCO NCS 4. With a Faraday balance the sample is placed in a magnetic field of constant gradient, and weighed on a torsion balance. This method can yield information on magnetic anisotropy. Squid is a very sensitive magnetometer. For substances in solution NMR may be used to measure susceptibility. <laughs> <laughs> Types of magnetic behavior When an isolated atom is placed in a magnetic field there is an interaction because each electron in the atom behaves like a magnet, that is, the electron has a magnetic moment. There are two types of interaction. Diamagnetism. When placed in a magnetic field the atom becomes magnetically polarized, that is, it develops an induced magnetic moment. The force of the interaction tends to push the atom out of the magnetic field. By convention diamagnetic susceptibility is given a negative sign. Very frequently diamagnetic atoms have no unpaired electrons i.e. each electron is paired with another electron in the same atomic orbital. The moments of the two electrons cancel each other out, so the atom has no net magnetic moment. However, for the ion U3+, which has six unpaired electrons, the orbital angular momentum cancels out the electron angular momentum, and this ion is diamagnetic at zero Kelvin. Paramagnetism. At least one electron is not paired with another. The atom has a permanent magnetic moment. When placed into a magnetic field, the atom is attracted into the field. 
By convention paramagnetic susceptibility is given a positive sign, when the atom is present in a chemical compound its magnetic behavior is modified by its chemical environment. Measurement of the magnetic moment can give useful chemical information. In certain crystalline materials individual magnetic moments may be aligned with each other magnetic moment has both magnitude and direction. This gives rise to ferromagnetism, antiferromagnetism or ferromagnetism. These are properties of the crystal as a whole, of little bearing on chemical properties. <inaudible> <inaudible> Diamagnetism Diamagnetism is a universal property of chemical compounds, because all chemical compounds contain electron pairs. A compound in which there are no unpaired electrons is said to be diamagnetic. The effect is weak because it depends on the magnitude of the induced magnetic moment. It depends on the number of electron pairs and the chemical nature of the atoms to which they belong. This means that the effects are additive, and a table of diamagnetic contributions, or Pascal's constants, can be put together. With paramagnetic compounds the observed susceptibility can be adjusted by adding to it the so-called diamagnetic correction, which is the diamagnetic susceptibility calculated with the values from the table. Topic. Paramagnetism Topic. Mechanism and temperature dependence A metal ion with a single unpaired electron, such as Cu2+, in a coordination complex provides the simplest illustration of the mechanism of paramagnetism. The individual metal ions are kept far apart by the ligands, so that there is no magnetic interaction between them. The system is said to be magnetically dilute. The magnetic dipoles of the atoms point in random directions. When a magnetic field is applied, first-order Zeeman splitting occurs. Atoms with spins aligned to the field slightly outnumber the atoms with non-aligned spins. In the first-order Zeeman effect the energy difference between the two states is proportional to the applied field strength. Denoting the energy difference as delta E, the Boltzmann distribution gives the ratio of the two populations as E minus delta E K T display style e caret delta e kt where k is the boltzmann constant and t is the temperature in kelvins in most cases delta e is much smaller than kt and the exponential can be expanded as 1 delta e kt it follows from the presence of 1 t in this expression that the susceptibility is inversely proportional to temperature chi equals c t display style chi equals c over t this is known as the Curie law and the proportionality constant, C, is known as the Curie constant, whose value, for molar susceptibility, is calculated as C equals N G 2 S S plus 1 mu B 2 3 K Display style c equals frac in carrot two s s plus one mu underscore b carrot two three k, where n is the Avogadro constant, g is the Land g factor, and mu b is the Bohr magneton. In this treatment, it has been assumed that the electronic ground state is not degenerate, that the magnetic susceptibility is due only to electron spin, and that only the ground state is thermally populated. While some substances obey the Curie law, others obey the curie weiss law. Chi equals C T minus T C display style chi equals frac C T T underscore C T C is the Curie temperature. The Curie Weiss law will apply only when the temperature is well above the Curie temperature. At temperatures below the Curie temperature the substance may become ferromagnetic. More complicated behavior is observed with the heavier transition elements. Topic. Effective magnetic moment When the Curie law is obeyed, the product of molar susceptibility and temperature is a constant. The effective magnetic moment, mu f is then defined as mu f equals c o n s t a n t 
T Chi Display style mu underscore text F equals mathram constant SQRT T Chi where C has CGS units CM three moles minus one K, mu F is mu F equals three K N mu B two T Chi approximately equals two point eight two seven eight seven T Chi Display style mu underscore text f equals sqrt 3k over n mu underscore b carrot 2 sqrt t chi approx 2.82787 sqrt t chi, where c has si units m3 mole minus 1k mu f is mu f equals 3k n mu 0 mu B two T Chi approximately equals seven hundred and ninety seven seven hundred and twenty seven T Chi Display style mu underscore text f equals sqrt 3k over n mu underscore zero mu underscore b carrot two sqrt t chi approx seven hundred and ninety seven point seven two seven sqrt t chi the quantity mu f is effectively dimensionless, but is often stated as in units of Bohr magneton mu b. For substances that obey the Curie law, the effective magnetic moment is independent of temperature. For other substances, mu f is temperature dependent, but the dependence is small if the Curie Weiss law holds and the Curie temperature is low. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Temperature independent paramagnetism. Compounds which are expected to be diamagnetic may exhibit this kind of weak paramagnetism. It arises from a second-order Zeeman effect in which additional splitting, proportional to the square of the field strength, occurs. It is difficult to observe as the compound inevitably also interacts with the magnetic field in the diamagnetic sense. Nevertheless, data are available for the permanganate ion. It is easier to observe in compounds of the heavier elements, such as urinal compounds. Topic. Exchange interactions Exchange interactions occur when the substance is not magnetically dilute and there are interactions between individual magnetic centers. One of the simplest systems to exhibit the result of exchange interactions is crystalline copper acetate, Cu2-OAC H2O As the formula indicates, it contains two copper ions. The Cu2 plus ions are held together by four acetate ligands, each of which binds to both copper ions. Each Cu2 plus ion has a D9 electronic configuration, and so should have one unpaired electron. If there were a covalent bond between the copper ions, the electrons would pair up and the compound would be diamagnetic. Instead, there is an exchange interaction in which the spins of the unpaired electrons become partially aligned to each other. In fact, two states are created, one with spins parallel and the other with spins opposed. The energy difference between the two states is so small their populations vary significantly with temperature. In consequence the magnetic moment varies with temperature in a sigmoidal pattern. The state with spins opposed has lower energy, so the interaction can be classed as antiferromagnetic in this case. It is believed that this is an example of superexchange, mediated by the oxygen and carbon atoms of the acetate ligands. Other dimers and clusters exhibit exchange behavior. Exchange interactions can act over infinite chains in one dimension, planes in two dimensions, or over a whole crystal in three dimensions. These are examples of long range magnetic ordering. They give rise to ferromagnetism, antiferromagnetism, or ferromagnetism. Depending on the nature and relative orientations of the individual spins, compounds at temperatures below the Curie temperature exhibit long range magnetic order in the form of ferromagnetism. Another critical temperature is the nil temperature, below which antiferromagnetism occurs. The hexahydrate of nickel chloride, NiCl26H2O, has a nil temperature of 8.3 K. The susceptibility is a maximum at this temperature. Below the nil temperature the susceptibility decreases and the substance becomes antiferromagnetic. <laughs> Complexes of transition metal ions 
The effective magnetic moment for a compound containing a transition metal ion with one or more unpaired electrons depends on the total orbital and spin angular momentum of the unpaired electrons L display style VEC L and S display style VEC S respectively total in this context means vector sum in the approximation that the electronic states of the metal ions are determined by Russell Saunders coupling and that spin orbit coupling is negligible the magnetic moment is given by mu f equals l l plus 1 plus 4 s s plus 1 mu b Display style mu underscore text f equals sqrt vec l vec l plus one plus four vec s vec s plus one mu underscore b. Topic: Spin only formula. Orbital angular momentum is generated when an electron in an orbital of a degenerate set of orbitals is moved to another orbital in the set by rotation. In complexes of low symmetry certain rotations are not possible. In that case the orbital angular momentum is said to be quenched and L display style VEC L is smaller than might be expected partial quenching or zero complete quenching. There is complete quenching in the following cases. Note that an electron in a degenerate pair of dx2y2 or dz2 orbitals cannot rotate into the other orbital because of symmetry. Legend T two grams T two. Topic DXY DXZ DYZ EG E. DX two Y two DZ two. When orbital angular momentum is completely quenched, L equals zero. Display style VEC L equals zero and the paramagnetism can be attributed to electron spin alone. The total spin angular momentum is simply half the number of unpaired electrons and the spin-only formula results μ f equals n n plus 2 μ b Display style μ underscore text f equals sqrt n n plus 2 μ underscore b where n is the number of unpaired electrons. The spin-only formula is a good first approximation for high spin complexes of first row transition metals. The small deviations from the spin-only formula may result from the neglect of orbital angular momentum or of spin-orbit coupling. For example, tetrahedral D3, D4, D8 and D9 complexes tend to show larger deviations from the spin-only formula than octahedral complexes of the same ion, because quenching the orbital contribution is less effective in the tetrahedral case. Topic: <laughs> Low spin complexes. According to crystal field theory, the d orbitals of a transition metal ion in an octahedral complex are split into two groups in a crystal field. If the splitting is large enough to overcome the energy needed to place electrons in the same orbital with opposite spin, a low spin complex will result. With one unpaired electron mu f values range from 1.8 to 2.5 mu b and with two unpaired electrons the range is 3.18 to 3.3 mu b. Note that low spin complexes of Fe2 plus and Co3 plus are diamagnetic. Another group of complexes that are diamagnetic are square planar complexes of D8 ions such as Ni2 plus and Rh plus and O3 plus. Spin crossover. When the energy difference between the high spin and low spin states is comparable to kT k is the Boltzmann constant and T the temperature an equilibrium is established between the spin states, involving what have been called electronic isomers. Tristithiocarbamato ion 3, Fe S2 CnR2 3, is a well-documented example. The effective moment varies from a typical D5 low spin value of 2.25 μb at 80 k to more than 4 μb above 300 k. Topic. Second and third row transition metals 
crystal field splitting is larger for complexes of the heavier transition metals than for the transition metals discussed above. A consequence of this is that low spin complexes are much more common. Spin orbit coupling constants, zeta, are also larger and cannot be ignored, even in elementary treatments. The magnetic behavior has been summarized, as below, together with an extensive table of data. <laughs> Lanthanides and actinides Russell Saunders coupling, LS coupling, applies to the lanthanide ions. Crystal field effects can be ignored, but spin orbit coupling is not negligible. Consequently, spin and orbital angular momenta have to be combined. L equals I L I display style VEC L equals sum underscore I VEC L underscore I S equals I S I display style VEC S equals sum underscore I VEC S underscore I J equals L plus S display style VEC J equals VEC L plus VEC S and the calculated magnetic moment is given by mu F equals G J J plus 1 G equals 3 2 plus S S plus one minus L L plus one two J J plus one Display style mu underscore text f equals g sqrt vec j vec j plus one g equals three over two plus frac vec s vec s plus one vec l vec l plus one two vec j vec j plus one. In actinide spin orbit coupling is strong and the coupling approximates to J J coupling. J equals i J I equals I L I plus S I display style VEC J equals sum underscore I VEC J underscore I equals sum underscore I VEC L underscore I plus VEC S underscore I. This means that it is difficult to calculate the effective moment. For example, uranium IV, F2, in the complex UCL6 2- has a measured effective moment of 2.2 μb, which includes a contribution from temperature-independent paramagnetism. <laughs> <laughs> Main group elements and organic compounds Very few compounds of main group elements are paramagnetic. Notable examples include, oxygen, O2, nitric oxide, NO, nitrogen dioxide, NO2 and chlorine dioxide, chlorine dioxide. In organic chemistry, compounds with an unpaired electron are said to be free radicals. Free radicals, with some exceptions, are short-lived because one free radical will react rapidly with another, so their magnetic properties are difficult to study. However, if the radicals are well separated from each other in a dilute solution in a solid matrix, at low temperature, they can be studied by electron paramagnetic resonance EPR. Such radicals are generated by irradiation. Extensive EPR studies have revealed much about electron delocalization in free radicals. The simulated spectrum of the CH3 radical shows hyperfine splitting due to the interaction of the electron with the three equivalent hydrogen nuclei, each of which has a spin of one half. Spin labels are long lived free radicals which can be inserted into organic molecules so that they can be studied by EPR. For example, the nitroxide MTSL, a functionalized derivative of tetramethylpiperidine oxide, TEMPO, is used in site directed spin labeling. Topic. Applications The gadolinium ion, GD3+, has the F7 electronic configuration, with all spins parallel. Compounds of the GD3 plus ion are the most suitable for use as a contrast agent for MRI scans. The magnetic moments of gadolinium compounds are larger than those of any transition metal ion. 
Gadolinium is preferred to other lanthanide ions, some of which have larger effective moments, due to its having a non degenerate electronic ground state. For many years, the nature of oxyhemoglobin, HbO2, was highly controversial. It was found experimentally to be diamagnetic. Deoxyhemoglobin is generally accepted to be a complex of iron in the plus 2 oxidation state, that is a D6 system with a high spin magnetic moment near to the spin only value of 4.9 μb. It was proposed that the iron is oxidized and the oxygen reduced to superoxide. Fe 2 Hb high spin plus O2 Fe 3 Hb O2 minus pairing up of electrons from Fe 3 plus and O2 minus was then proposed to occur via an exchange mechanism. It has now been shown that in fact the ion changes from high spin to low spin when an oxygen molecule donates a pair of electrons to the ion. Whereas in deoxyhemoglobin the ion atom lies above the plane of the heme, in the low spin complex the effective ionic radius is reduced and the ion atom lies in the heme plane. Fe 2 Hb plus O2 Fe 2 Hb O2 low spin this information has an important bearing on research to find artificial oxygen carriers. Compounds of gallium were unknown until quite recently. As the atomic number of gallium is an odd number 31, Ga2 plus should have an unpaired electron. It was assumed that it would act as a free radical and have a very short lifetime. The non-existence of Ga2 compounds was part of the so-called inert pair effect. When salts of the anion with empirical formula such as gallium 3 chloride minus were synthesized they were found to be diamagnetic. This implied the formation of a Ga Ga bond and a dimeric formula, gallium 3 chloride. Topic: <laughs> Minus See also Magnetic mineralogy, Magnetoelectrochemistry, Magnetic ionic liquid, Spin ice, Spin glass, Superdiamagnetism, Superparamagnetism, Superferromagnetism.